Okay, the purpose of this video is to get a good look at the curl, what's going on behind the scenes, the intuition of the curl. We've simplified it by having two-dimensional vector fields here, but we had said that the calculation of the curl ends up giving you a vector. That vector will uh, will be, and the idea behind it is it's going to be the strength of the spin at a particular point. You give me a particular point in the vector field and I'll be able to calculate how likely it is that um, we have spin at that particular point. And so we'll put a bunch of X's here in this vector field and it turns out that no matter where you're at in this particular vector field you will have the same degree of spin and the, the calculation of the curl when it's in 2D ends up as just zero with the uh, the x and y component and the k component is qx minus py and so this case uh, would get a two and so that's the curl of f not f but the curl of f okay and so uh, no matter where you're at you have the same the, the magnitude of the spin um, is the same and the direction of the spin is the same. You can use the right hand rule to decide is this uh, this direction coming out of the screen or into the screen and in all of these the directions coming out of the screen that the uh, in the K direction out of the screen we have the same degree of spin but if we move to the second example though depending on where we're at we'll have different strengths of spin and so um, we have uh, the QX minus PY there is 2X minus 3 and so um, the curl for the second one is going to be uh, 0 0 and the function 2x minus 3 so depending on the value of x uh, the different colors here are the different values of x they're all, all on vertical lines we all have the same colors depending on the value of x that of change the value of the curl in turn changing the the uh, the magnitude of it and and the direction of it and so some of these will point into the screen and some will point out when x goes past three halves uh, negative three halves uh, so when x is three halves you should get zero spin let's uh so that would be right about uh let's see right yeah three halves when x is three halves there should be no spin at all along the whole um along the whole vertical line where x is 3 halves there should be no spin no matter where you're at here you shouldn't spin at all and then um, when you move to the left of that your spin is one direction and to the right of that your spin is a, a different direction so over here my spin following the right hand rule points into the screen while over here my spin is going to point out of the screen and it's going to be stronger. The the, uh, the the magnitude of the vectors are larger there, and so uh, than than in other places. And so, the strength of the spin and the uh, the direction of the spin is what we're measuring. is called the curl, and it gives an idea uh, of the circulation of the vector field. That's what we're calculating. Okay. And then finally, uh, with our last example, we have um, a vector field that has a zero curl. The curl of this particular vector field is always zero, the zero vector. And so there is no spin. No matter where you place um, these, these pinwheel shapes, no matter where you place them at, you'll have zero spin. And so, uh, sorry, what's going on here? Okay. So no matter where I place the pinwheel at, I will have no spin. Here, what you'll have is like a push. The, uh, the, the pinwheel will be pushed, but it will have no spin. It won't spin at all. Okay, and so, okay, and we had said um, that the curl being zero actually uh, leads to many things. When your curl is zero, then what ends up happening is the vector field that you have, F, is called conservative. Conservative, and uh, 
uh, the th this leads to you being able to say that this vector field F is the gradient of some scalar field. Okay, the vector field F is the gradient of a scalar field, some, some, uh, some phi. There's a potential function phi out there so that F is equal to the, the gradient of phi. There's a potential function out there and, and then line integrals from any point along uh, in this in this 2D space uh, let's see right gradient of phi line, inter line integrals will be independent of path for these conservative vector fields we had said that the curl uh, the, 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 uh, the curl of a gradient is zero the curl in our previous video we, we showed how the curl of a gradient of a vector field will always end up at zero when you're um, when you're the gradient of a, a vector if you're, when you're the gradient of a scalar field your curl will always end up at zero that's not a three equals that's a, just a two bar equals okay so that's uh, our intuition behind the curl and um, and now we'll go use it uh, to calculate uh, the curl of a vector field and also to understand how we can uh, work with it in Stokes' theorem.